Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited to do because I am gonna show you what I packed with me to my Hawaii vacation. Me and my boyfriend took a trip to Honolulu for a weekend, end of September, and I've been way overdue to film this video. There's gonna be a good amount of products, both makeup and skincare, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I packed with me. I'm gonna flip the camera over and we're gonna get started. But before we start, I would like to welcome new visitors to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Eve, I love all things beauty. I hope you enjoy this video, give it a thumb up, and also consider subscribing to my channel so you would see more videos from me. And without any further ado, let's get into my travel makeup bag. Here's my makeup bag and you've probably seen it before in my previous videos. This is the only one that I've had for years and this was such a good quality. I purchased it a long time, I think in Target. And a lot of makeup bags like this I see around uh, by the same concept. So it's not nothing like revolutionary, but it's like super, super comfortable. And even though it gets dirty at times, but this is all like waterproof and washable material. So it does have handles and it zips up like this uh, sideways all around. You have two large compartments here. And then I do have like extra envelope here with the hook. And then on the other side, there's a small pocket as well and basically this is it so here in this little compartments i only have like personal like toiletries like feminine products uh, per se so i'm not going to be going through that however i am going to go through my skincare section and my makeup section it's really not that many products however there is a good amount so i'm going to try to make this video speedy a review and overview of everything that i took with me to hawaii and pretty much this is everything that i used i think i did a pretty good job Job, focusing on uh, how my vacation is gonna look like and be a little bit like true to myself rather than like, fantasizing what my vacation would be so I am pretty happy with the selection of products that I brought with me so let's get into unpacking these products so this video is not a million hours long I'm gonna go through my skincare first and then we're gonna get into makeup I'm gonna take everything out that's here and we're gonna go through every single one of these products I will try to make sense out of this whole entire pile and kind of try to go in order of the products, how I would use them, like cleansing products together and masks together and treatments together, serums, stuff like that. So it would not be like it's all over the place. So it would make a little bit more sense. I only brought these three items for cleansing my skin. This is that rubbery cleansing cushion. It does have very soft bristles. I actually did the whole entire vlog where I talked specifically about this device. It's super easy to use. I love this. I can't live without this. I use this uh, thing every single day sometimes twice a day and I also take it with me whenever I go traveling so I cannot go anywhere without this this product is by elf this is a holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm this is obviously a mini size I pretty much use the whole entire thing as you can see there's a little bit left I actually really like this I would be interested to repurchase this in the larger size it's a pretty affordable product and it does a job really well it melts into skin really easily it doesn't take that much time for you to melt it in between your hands and it's pretty effective um it removes the makeup pretty well without leaving a residue so i was really really pleased and of course i do a double cleansing a routine you guys know of that already i really have been loving this vegan milk cleanser this is a travel size tube and i specifically picked it up for my travels because i really really like this cleanser i think i went through three or four of these and one large one in the past maybe two years i love this cleanser it is so comfortable on skin it is very gentle it doesn't dehydrate your skin after you wash it it's really high quality and a little goes a long way it foams up really well in this video you'll probably see a good amount of travel and smaller sizes products this is something that i do on purpose i collect those travel size products and set them aside for the times that i actually go away me and my boyfriend try to travel locally and not locally quite often or whenever we get a chance i get a lot of use of those smaller travel sizes products so all these little products last me for a good 
amount of time because I actually set them aside only for traveling purposes. I know that the toners are not absolute necessary items to use. However, I like using them in my routines, especially when I travel. I do like to like extra clean my face. So this is again a travel size from Dermalogica. This is a multi-active toner. This is only like 1.7 fluid ounces here. And I love that the bottle is uh, pretty secure packaging. And it's also a spray bottle. So it's very convenient for traveling. I definitely enjoy this toner. I can say it's doing some magical, amazing things to the skin. It feels good. It's refreshing. It just feels nice and clean on my skin. It doesn't irritate. It doesn't uh, dehydrate my skin, any of that. I'm not sure if I will be uh, repurchasing a full size container. It is a pretty pricey product, um, but I will enjoy it a while it will last. I also traveled with uh, several serums or treatments, so I call them. This one is by Ordinary. This is a niacinamide 10% plus a zinc of 1%. This is a glass bottle. The only reason why I took this was because I was pretty much done with it and I decided to just bring it along and I actually ended up finishing the container. I really like the niacinamide as an ingredient for my combination oily skin. It does help with controlling the oils and traveling into Hawaii where I expected the weather being pretty hot. I definitely wanted to bring this along with me. I actually ended up finishing this product up, so I'll be putting this right into my empties. Then I also have these two products. They are both from the ink list. And again, one is niacinamide and then the other one is a Q10. Niacinamide, again, I'm not gonna be repeating myself. It's just a single ingredient, which I actually really liked. It is actually a little bit more gentle than the one from the ordinary because it does not have any other additives into it. It's just a pure niacinamide here. And then Q10 is an antioxidant and I always, use either vitamin C or Q10 is pretty a uh, nice ingredient as well so I travel with both of this and actually I ended up finishing up a Q10 bottle also so I'm pretty happy that I'm actually using up all these products. I have repurchased both of these several times already in the past uh, several years, and I've been really loving them. The brand is very affordable, and I actually will be looking into repurchasing them again because I really like the effect on my skin. The other treatment that I took with me is the Advanced Retinol a uh, 1.5% complex um, by number seven uh, brand. It also has a metric cell 3000 plus. This is a night serum for me, obviously, because it's a retinol and I absolutely love this. You might have seen this product in my huge unboxing earlier this year. And guys, I cannot tell you too many nicest things about this product. Um, obviously, if you are not uh, used to retinol, maybe 1.5% will be a little bit too much for you. I've been using retinol since I turned 30, which is in the past six years. And I love this. This is so gentle. I literally feel the difference and see the difference on my skin the morning after I use this. And make sure, obviously, when you use anything that's active ingredient at nighttime or in the morning, you use a good amount of sunscreen because it tends to make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. So I also brought one eye cream with me, and this is by Honest Beauty. So this is a depuffing eye gel with chamomile and caffeine. It's a really cute tube. I don't think I've ever spoken about this product on my channel here. I've also, I think this was like one of the first uh, items that I I ever tried from Ona's beauty brand. I like that the nozzle is like plastic and it's kind of like slanted here and you just um, have to press on the tube to uh, let the product out. I personally still put it on my finger and then put it around my eye. However, I really like it. I don't think it's anything extraordinary. It's just nice and like hydrating product. Um, however, this does irritate my eyes. It's not terribly bad when it gets into my eyes. However, it's still irritating. And again, my eyes are sensitive. You guys been following me here, you know, like I've spoken about it before that I do have really sensitive eyes and I'm really careful what I put around my eyes and ingredients of the eye products and just the skincare in general because my eyes get really, really irritated. This is one of the reasons why I try to have my skincare fragrance free. It's um, okay product. I don't think it's bad, but I also don't think it's revolutionary at all. So I definitely am not looking into repurchasing it, but once I'm done with it, I, I'm done.
Let's go ahead and talk about my sunscreens because I've brought few and I will tell you that going to Hawaii or going to any other tropical place or island in, that's close to equator, the sun is no joke. When I moved from New Jersey to Florida, I thought that the difference of the sun was major and I kind of did talk about it on my channel here. However, when we went from Florida to Hawaii, guys, the sun is brutal. Um, when I tell you the first thing that you should worry about and pack into your luggage if you're heading to Hawaii or in any other islands is a sunscreen. And not one bottle, not two, maybe three, because I packed three bottles of actual body sunscreen and I pretty much ran out of all of that. So I brought these two sunscreens with me. This was a just a very basic one by Innisfree. This is a daily UV defense sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 36. This is a 1.69 fluid ounces container. It's pretty large, as you can see, it's almost like the size of my hand. This is such a beautiful sunscreen. It's like a hydrating lotion. It's not fragrance, absorbs into skin, hydrates your skin, a wonderful, and it's pretty affordable. I definitely love this and I recommend this. And I actually looking into repurchasing this. Even for my combination oily skin that gets greasy, this works really well. This does not need an introduction anymore. So this is a botanical sunscreen tinted face SPF 50 from Australian Gold. I have mine in the shade, the lightest one, light to medium. This is a very lightweight uh, formula and also has like a matte, like natural soft matte finish. This is a huge tube, you guys, and I've spoken about this product million times on my channel here. This is not only a SPF 50, which is a benefit, this is also tinted product that smooths out your complexion. However, it also primes your face. So if you use this, you kill like three birds at once. You use your protection, which is an SPF, you use it as a primer, and it also uh, almost works as a tinted moisturizer because it just smooths out your complexion. If you have some redness or texture, it will definitely help you with all that. Okay, so let's go through the rest of the products pretty quickly. And this is just kind of like a side product that I cannot travel without, especially if I'm going to like a week away getaway. So this is my uh, lotion for my hands. Um, this is by Cetaphil. This is just a moisturizing cream. This is technically meant for the body. If you guys watched any of my other videos or vlogs that I talked about like the Cetaphil tub, moisturizer that I constantly use and I only use for my body. It is unscented, it's hydrating, it absorbs really quickly, it's not greasy, it doesn't leave residue. It also comes in this tube, which is perfect to use as a hand lotion. And I like to keep it in my work bag or travel with, put it in my carry-on, stuff like that. So I love this. Moisturizer at night, I took a few things. So this is by Murad. Um, this is a hydrating and night fix enzyme treatment. Technically, it is a treatment. So it's a thicker lotion and I absolutely absolutely love the packaging. It's beautiful. And this is something that you use like a moisturizer overnight, obviously, because it has like a thicker consistency. I use it as a night moisturizer several times a week. So this is actually the only one that I took because I thought if I'm going to uh, the island where I'm going to be exposed to the sun for so long, pretty much every day, we were planning to go and spend a lot of times outdoors. So I thought I would take something that I could use as a treatment every single night just to give my skin a chance to recover at nighttime. I also brought this multivitamin power recovery mask by Dermalogica. As you can see, it's also travel size. This is technically a recovery thick mask. However, I used it also as a night moisturizer. So I would place it on skin on top of all my skincare as a final step and I just leave it on uh, throughout uh, the night. So, and I would wake up to like a baby skin. This is such a great product. It's actually really, really pricey in a full size. However, it's really effective. If you actually wanted to spend money, I do recommend it. This uh, little guy you might've seen before in my unboxing video, this is a Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. 
which is a mini size and I actually had it with me in my carry-on and I would use this just to spray my face uh, when flying because as you know when you sit in an airplane your skin may just get dehydrated so I really like to have this mini sprays that way I can just rehydrate my skin uh, for the long flights if you follow me here long enough you guys know that i love a clinique um, complexion products and i also like their skincare because everything is fragrance free i also brought this thermal water by vichy this is also deluxe size and it is a spray bottle as well and this is one of those like continuous sprays so this is just a thermal water for the same reason as the clinique one that i just mentioned earlier just rehydrating my skin and this is rich with 15 different minerals so it's actually um, like a vitamin to your skin here you guys see my under eye patches I actually took both greens and uh, purples which are collagen and the green uh, pack is with a green tea um, so I actually used up all the green ones and these are just few that were uh, left and um, I uh, really love these you guys know that these are my favorite I also took a few vitamin C peel pads uh, this one is specific this specific one is by Derma Doctor it's called Kakadu C this is intensive vitamin C peel pad with ferulic acid and vitamin E each pack has a single towelet that has an active ingredient in it this is really effective you guys again this is an active ingredient ingredient you can use it both am and pm however remember if you're using it in the daytime you should use a lot of sunscreen and also be mindful of reapplying your sunscreen throughout the day these ingredients continue working throughout the day you don't want to make your skin too sensitive just be mindful of those things however i only use them at nighttime uh, when i'm on vacation so i really like these these are pretty gentle however they are also very effective and i also brought the visin uh, little tube here for um dry eyes just in case you never know when you travel your eyes can get um, dry sometimes so this little guy also came with me I've talked about this million times also this is one of my favorite products I don't know why more people do not talk about this uh, this is by Ulta Beauty this is a lip quench hydrating balm this is just the original one that has no scent no color it's just a plain balm when you open it up it's a plastic slanted nozzle really comfortable to use and apply product on your lips this is just a hydrating super comfortable formula that's not sticky unscented and i actually recently picked up the one that has color in it it's almost like the tinted balm but it's literally the same formula and the tube is actually like a colored one that matches the the tint of the product also love this i'll probably be we'll be talking in my future videos as well but this one is the jam if you haven't tried it put it on your wish list okay guys and then here i have some masks because you guys know i love my masks i do masks several times a week i do have like my spa night at home and i also like to travel especially when i know i'm going away for a week and uh, definitely flying and long hours of flying and, and sitting in the airplanes definitely takes toll on your skin so i do like to also take some um, options for the mask so obviously here i have my sheet masks i don't use sheet masks as uh, much anymore but i do have a small amount of them just for traveling purposes so this one is actually by the brand Esfolia, which is a k a beauty brand and it is available on Amazon so I've actually tried several of their products and they're all really gentle and wonderful so I do recommend you looking into it if you are looking to try something from like Korean Beauty this is a honey essence mask and a sheet mask form and uh, this is super hydrating so I definitely wanted something that's hydrating to take with me because again after long hours of traveling my skin may feel dehydrated and this would be a lifesaver then another mask that I picked up is from a Vichy this is an exfoliating mask basically it has an AHAs in it and then volcanic rocks it's very gentle chemical exfoliation mask which you guys know that I steered away from physical exfoliations like I do not use any of those like, harsh scrubs on my skin anymore like I used to in my early 20s um, little did I know right so I definitely switched um, to chemical exfoliation and this mask is fantastic 
fantastic. It's actually pretty affordable and you only need a small amount. This is just a sample pack. And if you actually put this in a container, this whole entire pack can last you up to three times, which I've used before. If you're gonna try these squeezes in a, like a little tub and just use it, this will last you several times. It's like a gel formula and it does have exfoliation properties. I love this. And then again, from Vichy, this is just like a different type of mask. This is a more of like a purifying, decongesting a clay mask. And um, I also love it. I just love clay masks because I, again, I'm a combination of oily skin. I usually use clay masks at least once or twice a week um, just because I wear makeup and my skin is oily and it helps me to uh, keep my skin clean. And then the last but not least here, I have the mask by Origins. It's a clear improvement charcoal honey mask. Again, it's the charcoal will help you to detoxify, to eliminate all those excess oils and um, honey ingredient will help uh, your skin to be hydrated or rehydrated rather. So this mask is actually really good. So it's almost like two powerful ingredients in one. This little guy would last you for a long time, especially if you also use other masks. Okay guys, I decided to actually break up this video into two parts. So this was a skincare portion and I'm gonna see you for the part two to talk about my makeup. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. So I'll be doing uh, videos like this in the future for you. That way I know you like this type of content. Please like and subscribe before you leave and make sure to check out part two where I talk about my makeup bag uh, for my Hawaiian trip. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.